Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? Welcome to my uh, raid Shadow Legends uh, first impression video. So, and some basic tips, by the way, for those if you want to get started. So let's not waste some time and jump right into it. All right, so let's begin. Well, first of all, we're also going to recruit some champions, uh, I believe, at the end of the video once I'm done. And we're going to open six Asian shards, and I'll explain why I want to do it. So, I am actually very well surprised with this game, and uh, this game is playable without paying any money. <laughs> so, I haven't been paying any money, but the only thing is, it does require a tremendous amount of time. So, I usually play, like, once I go to work, you know during the travels on some breaks and when I'm chilling at home just like you know laying next to the baby and just bam, 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 making sure and so on so basically every time I find a spare minute I play the game the good thing is it's automatic the combat you can place an automatic so if you're walking somewhere you can bam and there you go the other cool thing is I found a third party um, a uh, company that allows to play the game on the computer. Uh, the developers themselves of this game are to deliver their own official version for the desktop, so I can't wait for that one. And uh, yeah, I mean, my impression of the game is very, very actually positive, and uh, they give a lot of uh, a lot of good stuff. So I will tell you what I what mistakes I did, so you don't do my mistakes, so you have an even better start, and what you should be focusing on as well. But yeah, it's definitely a game worth of giving a try. I mean, you all know that I was looking for a mobile game to play and make videos for, and I think uh, Raid Shadow Legends will become that game. Uh, so, first of all, quick tips on, I mean, uh, notification. <laughs> I am not sponsored by this game. I did receive a couple of comments, and no, I'm not sponsored by this game. The way I found out about this game is, been watching Juice Head's uh, Fallout 76 video and he was sponsored by this game so I used his link to get some advantages uh, some, uh, 4 star hero and 50k sil uh, yeah, 50k silver for a good starting point uh, since I was looking for a game I decided like I watched the, the way he showed the trailer or whatever and I'm like you know what let's give it a try uh, let's give it a try I mean I like RPG elements I like collecting so it should be a good thing. I mean, I've played the similar games in the past, but uh, they, uh, it's too, uh, they, for example, didn't have the mine, the gem mine, right? So the gems are is the currency that you buy for real money, uh, but you can actually earn it through doing events, through doing uh, tournaments, through doing uh, these events. So there's a lot of ways, and I'm gonna get into it how you can earn those gems but I don't remember any of the mobile games that I've played actually giving a gem mine to uh, mine the gems <laughs> anyway I'll get to this part just in a second as well so let me show you my heroes oh yeah wait, wait, wait. speaking of the links and everything by the way uh, the referral program is available to everybody so that link that I was sharing with you it's the one I was able to generate over here. So you can invite three friends, not more, I believe, and you both get bonuses. So as you can see, very nerf, my man, Croner, and uh, Lord Jaden. You already gave me 600 energy that I'm saving, <laughs> and some of you already even gave me uh, three days of XP boost, and we're growing to other levels. So what you can do if you want to take advantage of it, so also if you're playing and you're a Z-Clan member, right? Take the referral uh, link that you have posted in the comment section and uh, mention that I have one spot available or I have two spots available or anything. I mean, uh, I'm not gonna post my link. Actually, oh man. Yeah, I will too, so you get the advantage of selecting the hero and 50k silver. Uh, I believe that's the reward you get. Uh, but make sure to share your links so you can get uh, three active players as well and uh, you know it's it's a really good add-on right so that's speaking of links now what 
about heroes do not do my mistake it was a very stupid mistake so first of all I selected this guy and he's really OP I'm actually aiming to make him a uh, six star which is the maximum stars as far as I know for now in the game but there are some rumors that there might be seven stars coming very soon and there are a whole bunch of heroes over here I mean a lot I'll show you the fractions and all the heroes that you can recruit etc so it's uh, pretty cool uh, so as you can see I'm farming my heroes over here and I'm training new ones because in order to get the stars you need to sacrifice their heroes so for example if I'm gonna scroll the way down and let's start with the one star right oh man this broken version of a third party is a little bit annoying so anyway so this is a one star hero you can level him or her up to level 10 when she reaches level 10 in the tavern which I'm gonna show you uh, you can sacrifice just one star and make her level uh, two stars then you can uh, level her up until level 20 so every star is 10 levels right and uh, when she's two stars uh, you will need to sacrifice two heroes two stars right three stars you need to sacrifice three heroes three stars so it's getting really hard and uh, when I started, well, obviously I started just with one hero, I didn't have enough heroes, I got some rare ones, and I just started sacrificing everything. I even I even sacrificed them for experience, which was a really stupid move. And don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. So what I'm doing now is that the rare ones, if I have a, a, a copy, I level, I level it up to sacrifice her later and uh, or him. Uh, to make more star uh, champions but also if you have duplicates and if you for example like this hero right uh, you can sacrifice a copy to increase his skills so you have a whole bunch of skills over here and so on champion unlock you successfully unlock champion of the day go to what? what are you talking about yeah as I said this is a free version oh by the way they got to click on this you gotta buy it uh, once you start you have progression rewards so every time you level up you get gems, you get the skill books, you get silver, you get uh, and this is what I want to get ha ah, the legendary guy then if you go with the new player rewards I'm on the second version now the first version I already claimed it uh, so I've been playing every single day I mean I try to log in if like I don't have to pl uh, time to play I try to at least log in to claim the rewards so as you can see I've claimed them all and tomorrow I will get the four star this dude right here uh, and I believe he's a tank so uh, on the first day uh, I got her with all the rewards as well and she is really like she's a really good supporter she revives enemies I mean revives enemies lol revives my champions in, in case if they go down recall so and I was thinking to make like 50, level 50 the other guys, but I think that making a one character level 60 is a top priority for me. So today I'll be deciding whether he goes for the level 60 or if I pull something really nice at the end of the video from uh, those shards over there that I have. Then uh, maybe we'll, I'll be aiming for another uh, hero to go. But I need a hero who does massive damage and really good in the campaigns because uh, the campaigns is not mean it's, it's a lot of like silver and so on especially if you go to a brutal which I haven't yet to unlock but uh, according to what I've read on the research uh, the campaign gives the most um, silver so anyway oh my god there's just so much in this game and I'm just trying to not go into every details by the way and the Playtime also, as you can see, they give you energy. When when I started, I couldn't waste my energy until I was like level 20. Uh, now you can see I have a lot of energy. That's because I got the daily login 90 reward. So there you go, 500 energy. And as you can see, I've been playing all day. And tomorrow is gonna be exactly two weeks that I'll be playing. So if I keep logging in, I'll get her, then I'll get him and her. So. Yeah, I mean, those rewards, especially if you're not planning to uh, spend any money on this game, better play them all. And have a strategy. Don't do my mistake. <laughs> when I started, I simply freaking rushed in through the main campaign and just, whoo, and as, as I said, sacrificed everybody, blah, blah, blah. 
and then pay attention to missions very important I'm actually gonna start doing my today's missions because uh, this thing was locked for me and opened today so these are the dungeons where you uh, claim these sort of uh, uh, potions and you will need those potions to make your uh, stars go like pinkish or purplish and they become stronger so uh, there are some events when these uh, are open like last week they were open for the entire week all of them and you could do whatever you want but they switch all the time with days when you can do them this guy is always available so in terms of using that let's go into the tavern so in the tavern that's where you can uh, level up your heroes if you choose to for example like we take this guy we can sacrifice our champions which I do not recommend doing and uh, also in the dungeons you get to earn these sort of uh, beer paints paint if you match the beer paint with the the class it gives more XP if you do not match it gives less XP right so then you can also rank them up so over here as you can see uh, let's let's rank up this guy so for example as you can see he's a two star and I can rank him up but I don't have two stars so what I will do is I'll take duplicates and sacrifice duplicates which actually I don't usually like to do but I'm gonna get a lot of heroes uh, within the next two days today and tomorrow because there's an event going I mean a tournament going on so once you sacrifice he becomes a three star dramatically level one you need to level him up again so in order to level up a three star as I said you will need to sacrifice three of the guys in order to do the four you will need to do four <laughs> Oh wait, uh, my bad. Here. Not wait. By the way, you need to have it maxed out level. So there we go. Bam, 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 bam. And upgrade. And you'll have a five star. Well, I'm not gonna do it because, as I said, I want to make him six star. So you can level them up by sacrificing or drink the beer. Rank them up. Skill upgrades. Skill upgrades work, as I said. Uh, you can have skill books or sacrifice duplicates. So here are the skill books, right? Don't spend your skill books because sometimes you get uh, sort of events to do it and better to keep them until you find your perfect champions that you want to play with. Like for example, with this Chica skill upgrade you can use only these two books. So if you, I don't personally like this Chica at all, she, she ain't that good. So don't rush in, that's t number one, plan, plan out, right? And acid, as I was talking about, is the potions that you need to gather in order to make those stars. And they become even stronger. You can mix your potions, it costs you a lot of silver and so on. So the, uh, the tavern is all about your hero management and so on. Oh, I didn't miss anything, man. I just, as I said, there's a whole bunch of stuff in this game. So, let's go back to the champions, right? Mm -hmm. So you got your gear and you can make sets so I think gear I'm gonna leave it for the next uh, including masteries because I'm, I'm not doing it anymore because there's way more to speak about gear which is insane uh, definitely do not sell everything like yeah sell things in rare occasions right and by the way you can also multi sell so for example if you want to sell this I didn't know this from the start because on the mobile game is like come on man and turns out you could have and on the mobile version you can also do the same thing and you can sell it all right so that's about it uh, now the mine gem will cost you 500 to upgrade once you get access to it you'll still need 500 uh, gems to upgrade to the first level then to the second level 500 and to the third level 500 and this thing should generate you later on once you have full level I think about 15 gems per day so which is a good deal now, in terms of quests, make sure to do all of your dailies, so as you can see, you can get energy, XP, silver, um, the arena tokens, so I'm going to claim it all, and on top of everything, once you do it, you also get 10 gems and more XP. Uh, once you're completing your dailies, they are counting into your uh, weeklies, so I already did all these weeklies, and you will get more shards, which is amazing. And same goes for the monthly. As you can see, I'm saving my energy for some better tournaments. And 
Uh, but since I am playing only two weeks, um, like, I'm not sure what tournaments I'm saving for. <laughs> like, usually these games have, like, for example, um, like, raid this dungeon for the next three days and the person who raided the uh, like who battled it and to spend the most energy will get additional rewards i mean those x games that i played had such events but i think this game should be similar to the others so i'm actually trying to save there's no rush because definitely there's pay to win elements here like a hundred percent i mean sometimes i get really annoyed with all those freaking Special offers come up. Some of them are sometimes very juicy, like this one right here. This is, just, this, is this thing is like what, uh, six dollars or something, which is really good. I mean, but I don't want to pay for it. I mean, I don't want to pay for the game. That's it. I want to like try to play a mobile game without paying any money for it. And this game actually gives the ability for you to actually be strong enough and play without paying, right? So you got your to I got my tokens in here by the way, let's connect it because it will expire. Oh hold on a second, one second. Oh yeah, let's collect these as well. So I don't forget about them. Alright. Alright, so So missions. Plan out your missions. Read up front, as you can see I already claimed my three hundred gems. Read up front what you gotta do and prepare and build out your strategy. And you can get gems, you can get more uh, energy, you can get it even more. And do it, because I didn't do it when I started. And collab missions with your challenges for the artifacts. So these sort of, they collide together. And right now I'm trying to do this thing right here. So what I need to do is, in the first stage, Quiro Castle or something like that, on hard or brutal difficulty, I need to loot a four star, uh gauntlet that has uh, HP as primary stat but in a percent and I've already spent a tremendous amount of uh, uh, energy I think over 500 energy and I still didn't get it and what I'm thinking is like I'm gonna pass out on I'm gonna pause this one because I'm starting the new line and it's pretty difficult and I think on brutal I'll have higher chance of getting this but if you do these you see you get uh, energy which I'm mainly saving and so on so I collabed in my missions the uh, the very junior missions right when I started and I just skyrocketed I had over a thousand five hundred energy that I couldn't even spend within a day it's like it was insane so the portals uh, oh yeah another reason why you should not uh, sacrifice your all of your rares and commons etc uh, because in the portal that's where you summon your uh, heroes right depending on what shards right you can also use the power of fusion so the power of fusion uh, you can see over here that you will need these four rare dudes I have only her but she's level 30 but oh yeah level 30 and I need to get one more star and I'll have one hero complete right and same goes for that chica right there and that chica but I don't have them and when I have them all with all these stars, I can fuse it, fuse them into him. And when I have them all, I can fuse into him. Same goes for these. I haven't seen them changing. Maybe they change on a monthly basis. I don't know, to be honest. But this is what you can fuse into. And these guys as well. So you can make the rare ones. So you can see I have... I'm just missing out from her to get her. Just one dude, and same for this guy, just to get one dude. So, I'm missing out on those. <clears throat> but I'm, I've never done the fusion, uh, but I think it's a good thing to do. Plus, it gives this type of an element, which is sort of like in the middle. You don't take, they don't, they don't have any weaknesses or uh, more power against other. I think this is magic, nature, and death, or whatever. I don't know how they're called, but. Uh, the blue guys deal more damage to the green guys, green guys d deal less damage to the blue guys, green guys do more damage to the red guys, red guys deal more, uh, and so on, oh man, I forgot what's the rotation, <laughs> <laughs> something like that, yeah, blue guys against these guys, and I want to make my first squad, farm, sets so as you can see in the dungeons you can farm sets if you scroll all the way down 
you can see that the top level for this thing and look at the badge over here so I will have more advantage to take this one to take these guys out and uh, farm five to six star legendaries and over here you can see what's what sort of sets you get and how much of each piece you need in order to get the bo the boost right and for other dungeons the same thing Dif different sets and different enemies so at the end of this one this one I was grinding because I like the lifesteal set really helpful and I highly recommend getting it for all four of your champions that you work on uh, and this guy's last is blue so essentially we're just gonna be like nobody's stronger than nobody so it's a good thing although my blue squad will lose against the fire and Night castle because this guy is gonna be red I think if I'm not mistaken yeah and he's gonna have an, a damage advantage against my hero so I'm gonna have to make another squad and spider queen then uh, where you get your amulets rings man I barely beat that thing before but luckily for me I got my heroes ready so now it's pretty easy that's where you can get your rings amulets and so on <clears throat> I'm not rushing in this game so I'm all good <laughs> so what else do we have here uh, oh yeah the index index that's where you can see all of the fractions and all of the heroes that fraction has so the top is the legendary ones you see, look at these legendary guys are just freaking amazing. <laughs> so yeah, it's amazing, and a whole bunch of them. Like, and they keep adding more and more and more. That is insane. All right, uh, quests. Okay, I've spoke about. Yeah, I spoke about this. Uh, challenges. Yeah, mo my favorite challenges are the artifacts, the dungeons, is whatever, I do them on occasion. Arena is also, I'm not rushing. Oh yeah, arena top freaking number one tip right here, especially if you're starting out. Once you go to the arena, you earn the, for the Great Wall, you earn these badges over here. And I'll show you a magic trick. So I have a lot of oh, defenses, 14 losses, so look at my win rate. 92% what up what up <laughs> so if you go to the arena uh, defense as you can see I have poor squad that's because I want them to rank me downwards because if you lose you don't get those badges and uh, those badges you will need to complete some sort of uh, quests uh, from the missions and uh, challenges and so on so I usually Put the poor defense so they uh, rank me down so I can easily go up again up because as I said this game is rather new but not super new and plus there are a lot of high levels with a lot of dudes <laughs> like look at these guys man this guy has already two legendaries this is insane and the power of those dudes is just insane oh actually not that why I wonder. Yeah, well. So man, as I said, clan boss. By the way, I did create our clan, so just uh, find find the clan and join. And the clan boss gives us rewards and also rewards once we uh, with a daily progression. The only thing is, don't be inactive for three days, otherwise you get kicked. <laughs> so these are our members. Location, no way. Yeah, we need more people to join our clan. We have eight spots available. So essentially, already some of the Z Clan members already joined our clan, and the easiest way to find us is I can't send you an invitation directly. Uh, this game doesn't allow it. So you can find the clan and send your application Z Clan, and this uh, the clan tag is Z C F Z Clan family, <laughs> and so on. So the index I've covered, and the clan, if you go ahead and you make all your logins you'll get the chest and some additional bonuses so as I said the, uh, events most of the times pop up like right now there's an event um, for the XP brewing right I mean uh, for upgrading your artifacts but these are really hard to do as you can see this thing was being up for a week and this is all I managed to do with all my silver and so on so you need to plan out your events and see whether if you should do them or not so I actually understood that I will not be able to do it and I decided to pause and just let it go let's see how it goes but there are events like summoning and so on so 
the reason why I decided to open only the Asian artifacts and not these ones because well first of all there's a tournament going on right now and I'm not at such a top level because I'm not rushing through the tournament but I do aim to get all these gems over here and if you look at the info over here you can see that for the common and uncommon you get only one point for the rare 10 epic 250 and legendary 500 right which makes sense for me to make the spend but I still have time so I uh, decided not to do it and the other reason why I decided to actually go ahead and open the Asian ones is because if you visit the news section you can see that they have increased the chances of uh, receiving better uh, heroes plus that should give a good boost plus this tournament which is the hero chase tournament tomorrow once my seven uh, day player reward complies I get this guy plus I get 250 uh, tournament points but essentially I'm not gonna rush in or do any sacrifices a hundred gems is good but it's not worth it I think I hope <laughs> I don't know, we'll see what I'm going to do. I still have a lot of other shards, so these ones are 186, but if I get some rare ones, that for the rare ones you get 10. So, of course, if I open them all, they're not going to be uh, all rare, and so on. So, let's stop talking here. I'll try to do some guide videos once I uh, ha sort of have a little roadmap over there and cover specific regions in more detail. So... Yeah, if you want to give it a try, definitely give it a try. So, let's go with the Asian Shark and start summoning. Come on. Champion Challenge Complete Force. Alright. I think I already had this guy. Oh, he's defense. All right, let's go again. Come on, epic, legendary, epic. Come on, epic, legendary, please. I wonder what is the ratio? It's insane. Come on, give me an epic. God, and all of them were rare. Seriously, that is so stupid. Well, that was no luck. <laughs> so I'm still gonna have to plan out my strategy against all of these guys. Anyway, folks, you know the drill. I hope you enjoyed the show, and my thing lagged out on me. As I said, oh, I'm 26. Low. Market is actually pretty good as well. I bought the one of those blue shards today for two, uh, 200k. So yeah, I'm gonna cover everything else in a little bit more details. I hope you enjoyed the show, and if you're gonna be playing the game, don't forget to log in on daily basis, claim your reward at least, even though if you don't have time to play the game. So, alright folks, you have a good morning, day, and night, whatever you guys lock it at, and I'll see you on the next video. Comments down below on your thoughts. Please don't use profanity because those comments are not visible to nobody. I read them, but I delete them. And, don't forget to smash that like. By the way, if you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul. Hi from Ukraine. I'm signing out. Bye, I'll see you on the next video.